Great news this morning. With thanksgiving to Almighty God, with thanks to Pope Francis, and with gratitude to the Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop Vigano, I'm delighted to announce our wait is over. Eighteen months ago, I submitted my resignation as I turned 75, and they scoured the earth and found the right man to take my place. Unfortunately, he's from south of the Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> However, you should know that at one time, all of Western Massachusetts was part of the Diocese of Baltimore, because when the country was first founded, Baltimore was the only Catholic diocese from the Canadian border to the Florida Panhandle. So Western Massachusetts was part of Baltimore. It took them a long time to visit, but today they've more than made up for it because an auxiliary bishop of Baltimore has been announced as the ninth bishop of Springfield, and I'm delighted to welcome and to introduce Bishop Th Mitchell Thomas Rosansky, our new bishop, who as of today, <laughs> who as of today is Bishop of Springfield. So on a side note, for all the priests in the diocese, Mitchell goes into the canon immediately. <laughs> With, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, our new bishop. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I too would also like to express to God my thanks especially for the gift of priesthood and now the gift of being the ninth bishop of Springfield, Massachusetts. It's a, a wonderful, wonderful day to be here. I feel so welcomed and I really feel already at home because of your welcome. When uh, Archbishop Vigano had called me and asked me if I accepted the Holy Father's appointment and I told him yes, I think he immediately called Bishop McDonald because he thought that after 18 months that call should go right away. <laughs> and immediately after that, uh, Bishop Tim McDonald called me. He welcomed me and when he met me at the airport yesterday, he showed me a little tour of Springfield and the area, but has extended to me such wonderful fraternal hospitality that I feel so much at home and I am so grateful to him and I know you all are grateful to him for his leadership here as Bishop of Springfield. Bishop Tim, thank you. Last week, while I was uh, at the uh, spring bishop meeting in New Orleans, I was told that the nunciature had called, and my, uh, one of my pastoral associates in my office said to me, I think you need to call back as soon as possible. So when I called Archbishop Vigano, he greeted me with the news over the telephone that the Archbishop had appointed me as Bishop of Springfield, Massachusetts. He said to me, now I have to ask you, do you accept? And I said, Archbishop Vigano, any assignment that the church has given to me as parish priest and as auxiliary bishop, I have accepted because in faith we believe it's the will of God and that God will always be with us in whatever task that we're given. So it is with that gratitude to God for this wonderful vocation of priesthood that I come as the ninth bishop of Springfield, Massachusetts. I'm grateful for your welcome here, for your presence here today. Uh, I look forward to working with you over these coming months and years, and uh, I ask that God continue to unite us, to bring us together as church, and especially to be a people, as Pope Francis uh, tells us so often in his talks, to be a people who truly live the joy of the gospel and the love of God and draw others to do the same and bring them closer to God through our lives. Thank you so much for your welcome. Thank you.
take questions if there are some from our media friends, right? Thank you so much. I guess that would be that uh, I felt a call to the priesthood very early in my life. I spent 20 years in the Archdiocese of Baltimore as a parish priest. I never worked in the chancery, and so when I was called to be auxiliary bishop, it was uh, a surprise, a shock to me. And uh, my uh, title diocese as an auxiliary bishop was Walla Walla, so I always kidded with my friends that we could say, sent their walla walla. <laughs> but uh, some of my friends have texted me today that I lied. <laughs> so uh, it's, a, it's a good, good feeling though to be here in Springfield. But I would say the gift of my family, the gift of faith that my family gave to me, and the gift of priesthood uh, has really been central in my life and I, feel that I could respond with great hope. Uh, when Archbishop Vigano called and told me that I'd be appointed here, uh, I could respond because of the deep faith that my parents have given me and that we've lived uh, in my family. Thank you. Yes. My first introduction to Western Massachusetts has been Bishop Tim McDonald. And he has been so gracious and so welcoming and really ebullient in sharing his joy and his love of ministry here. It's infectious and I, I hope to take that on. Yesterday, Bishop McDonald graciously uh, gave me his whole day, uh, taking me on a tour of Springfield. We got out to Holyoke and to a few places and was able to see the different sites. And uh, he explained to me the history and the, of the different sites. But all through his explanation has been his love for the people of this diocese. And that is infectious. And I hope to take that uh, along with me as I come to be the Bishop of Springfield. Thank you. Certainly, thank you. Well, for 2,000 years, the church has been able to adopt to different times and to different cultures. And in the late 1800s and early 1900s, we adopted to the wave of, waves of immigrants that came from uh, Western and Eastern Europe and other parts of the world. Today, we find ourselves again with many of those who come from either Central America are from uh, the Hispanic countries of South America and from Africa. And so as a church, Jesus gives us the model and the example of welcome, of sharing our faith, sharing the joy of our faith. And I think that's the most important thing that we can do as a church. First of all, to be welcoming. And secondly, to make sure that all of those who come to us from different countries who leave their homes, some of them under the most dire of circumstances and uh, also in torn families, we, we need to make them feel welcome at home and that they have our support and our love here. Thank you. Well, I think the first plan that's given to me is the gospel. So in following the gospel message, in working with those here who are in Catholic schools in leadership, I think we need to work together to forge a plan to see what we can do. Certainly what is happening here in Springfield uh, is not foreign to any of the other dioceses of the Northeast and uh, even some in the Midwest. But I think that we have to be creative in the ways that we can welcome students into our Catholic schools to keep them affordable, 
and uh, to ensure that we continue to bring the gospel message through the goodness of the uh, administrators, the dedicated teachers, the parents, grandparents, and all of those uh, who support our students in Catholic schools. Thank you. Certainly, certainly. Um, my mom and dad are living, and uh, they have lived in their home for almost 48 years in East Baltimore. I have two younger brothers, uh, one, in, uh, maybe I shouldn't say this on air, but he just turned 50, and he has three children. His oldest daughter just graduated from Mount St. Mary's in Emmitsburg, and she is uh, working in special education. Uh, I have two nieces and two nephews. I have a younger brother and his wife and son uh, live in the southern part of uh, Baltimore in a place called Elkbridge. So they have been very, very supportive of me and my priestly ministry. I've been very close to them throughout our lives. And even though this distance separates us now, I know that that closeness and love will still be there and I count on their support and their prayers as I begin here as bishop. Thank you. Thanks to all of you for taking the time to be here today, uh, for your wonderful and warm welcome. Uh, it will take time for me to get to know names and to get to know the different places of the diocese. Uh, I will rely both on the maps that uh, Bishop McDonald has given to me and the goodness of the GPS, I hope. <laughs> and so I look forward to these weeks and months ahead to the installation date of August the 12th and to being here permanently after that date as uh, the Bishop of Springfield. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you.